Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now, with Laravel 11 coming next week, I think, I'm going to create here two projects, Laravel 11 and Laravel 10 here. And let's see the differences we have on the application skeleton, because I think Laravel 11 introduced a more minimalistic and optional application skeleton. So Laravel 11 comes with a slimmer application skeleton. Let's see. Here I'm going to create Laravel 10, so I would say Laravel new, and let's name it Laravel 10 here. Okay, no starter kit. Let's say best here, no git repository, and okay. Now here, let's create Laravel new or Laravel 11, there, there, there. Hit enter, no starter kit, and let's say best, no here. Okay. Now here we can see application key set successfully and also preparing database and then running migrations on the Laravel 11. Okay, I'm going to select SQLite here, Laravel 10. And also in here I'm going to select SQLite. Okay, now application ready. Let's cd in the Laravel 11 and I'm going to open this project with the VS Code. And the same thing I'm going to do with the Laravel 10. Okay, so here we have Laravel 10 and here we have Laravel 11. And let me just close this. And let's see the application skeleton. We have up here and also on the Laravel 10 we have up. Now here we can see we have only the HTTP models and providers on the Laravel 11. On Laravel 10 we have the console exception HTTP models and providers. So we don't have the console and exception on the directory on Laravel 11. Inside the HTTP we have just the, just the controller file and let's see here we have controllers, so controller PHP, and also we have middleware, and we have all the files of the middleware, and we have also the kernel PHP. Instead, in the level 11, we have only the controllers and the controller PHP inside the HTTP directory. So that's a difference. The models we have on only the user, and here the same thing. On providers, we have only the app service provider on the Laravel 11. Instead, on Laravel 10, we have app service provider, auth service, broadcast service, event service, and route service. Okay, let's see now the next directory, which is bootstrap. Let's open also here. And on Laravel 10, we have the app file and the cache directory. Instead, in the Laravel 11, we have the app file and also the providers PHP. And we have also here the cache file, so with the packages and services PHP. Okay, so on the bootstrap, here we have one more file on Laravel 11. Okay, here we have providers. Okay, let's see the next one, which is the config directory. Now here on Laravel 10, we have all the configuration files and that's default coming with uh, Laravel install. Instead, if we go to Laravel 11, we don't have any file here. We can get them, but with the default install is no file in it. Okay, zero files on the config directory on Laravel 11. Okay, let's see the database factories, migration, seeders, and we have the database.sqlite created for us. Instead, in the Laravel 10, we have factories, migration, and seeders, but we don't have this database SQLite file created. So it's Laravel 10, uh, 11 is created automatically. Okay, let's see with the public, I think we don't have any change. Let's see the public here, yeah, no change. Let's see the resources, no change. Also here, resources. Okay. 
routes now you can see we have console and the web we don't have the api if we go here we have the api channels console and web php so on laravel 11 we have two files console and the web php okay on storage app framework and logs okay then we have tests and that's it now here we have the dot env file the same we have here the env example the artisan file composer json composer log package json and php unit and also the read config.js now all the files in the root directory are the same also on Laravel 10 just huge difference is from config because here we don't have any file in Laravel 11 and also on the HTTP here on Laravel 11 we have controllers directory and only the controller file instead in Laravel 10 we have also the middlewares all the middlewares and also the kernel PHP okay friends that's it all about this video I wanted to show you the new laravel skeleton on uh, laravel 11 now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much